Hello guys, today I will try to answer the why's. As you can see over there is a big why and a question mark. Today I will answer these why's being an engineer. Everyone must have seen these images on social media making fun of engineers who designed these roads, which I think must have been asked ironically by some illiterate people who don't know about a word about civil engineering. I will try to explain in detail technically so that everyone could understand the reasons behind these deviations. I hope that after watching this complete video, the civil engineers or engineering students will be able to satisfy those illiterate who ask this kind of stupid questions. So in this video, we will discuss different types of factors that affect the road alignment or uh, you can say why uh, the center line of a road is deviated from its original position or from a straight path what are the reasons i will try to explain these factors one by one but before starting a today's topic if you are new to my channel you are requested to please subscribe it and press the bell icon to get more video updates so let's start our today's topic first of all one need to understand what is road alignment road alignment it is the position or layout of center line it is the position or layout of center line of the highway on the ground is called alignment of the road. It includes straight paths, horizontal deviations and curves. As you can see over here, whenever the survey is conducted for the road, first of all center line is marked and then the cutting on the left or right side according to the design um, width of the road is made. But first of all center line is marked which is called as road alignment. Now before getting to the point why roads are deviated from straight path and why these curves are given in the road as, as I shown in the uh, shown on the first uh, slide one must understand what are the basic requirements of an ideal highway uh, what are the needs of a uh, ideal highway first of all it should be short the length of highway should be short that is highway alignment should be as short as possible and it should be easy highway alignment should be in such a way that it should be easy in construction maintenance and vehicle operating cost third one it should be safe it should have safe geometric features for traffic operation and it also should be safe in construction maintenance and vehicle operation fourth one is natural aspects that is the alignment should pass through the regions of natural beauty and scenery to have a good natural aspect Fourth one is economical. The important one is economical. It should be economical in construction. It should be economical in vehicle operation cost. It should be economical in maintenance, both traffic and non-traffic. Third one is utility. The alignment should offer maximum utility by serving maximum population by connecting intermediate important towns and group of villages so by keeping these basic requirements in mind the designers design the road alignment okay now proceeding towards the factors affecting road alignment first one is presence of gradient or slope in terrain now this is the most important uh, factor which uh, affect the alignment of the road as you can see in the uh, first picture I shown on the uh, sh slide that curves are given and people are asking why these curves are given in the uh, road it should be straight road so here is the answer to it first of all you must understand gradient what is gradient it is the ratio of vertical distance to horizontal distance okay in other words you can call, uh, call it as slope so it is a ratio of vertical distance to horizontal distance normally it is expressed as 1 in n where 1 is a vertical unit to n is a horizontal unit it is also expressed in percentage as you can see over here here is a road surface and it is it has a certain gradient or slope in it gradient is also expressed in percentage and its formula is equal to vertical distance divided by horizontal distance multiplied by 100 let's suppose this road has a horizontal distance or horizontal length 150 meters and vertical length is that is rise is 3 meters then what will be the percentage that is vertical distance that is 3 meter divided by horizontal distance which is 150 and multiply it by 100 you will get percentage that is 2% it's mean that 
this point is 2% higher than this point okay you are getting my point right this is called gradient now there are certain limitations in the gradient uh, which will be uh, discussed in the upcoming slide as you can see over here uh, the detail plane or rolling area which area is plan here maximum permissible or uh, you can say maximum uh, range of uh, slope you can give uh, uh, in the plan area is 5% 5% is the maximum slope and here is the representation of the slope 1 in 20 1 in 20 and in mountainous area maximum percentage is 6% it's mean that you cannot rise the upper end of the lower more than 6% than the lower in steep area it is up to 7% or in exceptional cases it is up to 8% now to understand what is meant by 1 in 20 or 1 in 25 let's suppose we have a uh, horizontal length of 12.5 meters as you can see over here this is the given slope 1 into 12.5 let's suppose we have a horizontal distance of 12.5 meters and 1 meter rise it's mean that we have to travel straight path of 12.5 meter then we will have to rise 1 meter upward okay we will get the slope now to convert it into a percentage we will divide 1 that is vertical distance divided by horizontal distance multiply by 100 and it comes out to be 8 percent now keep in mind these recommended gradients to design the uh, road of the in uh, role in uh, plain areas or mountainous or steep uh, areas uh, in other words if we increase the slope of the road uh, if the slope of the road is very steep it will also create the visibility problem for the driver okay uh, and uh, we also uh, the roads are also designed for load uh, hauling trucks which are loaded to their maximum load uh, and it will be uh, not possible for these trucks and uh, dumpers to uh, climb up the steep slope now to answer these questions why why this picture which is circulating on social media asking why this road is not made straight is marked by the red colors okay red arrows at this point i hope you have understand that what is gradient its purpose and importance and now you can answer this why let me explain a bit there is another similar pic as you can see over here this picture you can see the level of this point and this point or elevation difference between these two points which i think exceeds the recommended gradients given in the steep area which i show which i have shown you in the tabular form in the previous slide in first case if a heavy load loaded hauling truck climb up okay if you draw this road straight from here to here as you can this will be this will create a very steep gradient so in first case a loaded hauling truck climb up this steep slope he will not be able to make it to even half this way and it is also possible that it overturned due to heavy load as shown in this picture so this is the one reason we cannot design the road in a straight path in second case if this truck goes down this steep coming from this side towards lower side it would be impossible for it and if this truck goes down this steep slope it brakes will definitely fail and it will be unable to stop which result in disaster and huge loss on highways which are designed as you can see over here in this picture which are designed as per rules and as per recommended gradients escape routes or runway track ramps you must have observed these on highways are provided to stop such brake failed vehicles to avoid any damages or losses to property or other vehicles so the point is one who is civil engineer or a technical person will never ask such kind of questions if happens so now i hope you can give him a satisfactory answer right here is another picture that is circulating on media uh, making fun of engineers designing uh, it is saying there could be a straight ramp as shown by these yellow lines now this one is 
the stupid one but i have must uh, answer this question uh, here is a simple answer to this nonsense that it is like a man climbing up a wall by a ladder but a loaded truck cannot climb this steep slope that's why a circular ramp as you can see over here to provide a mild slope okay this circular ramp is provided for easy climbing of heavy vehicles keeping in view the permissible gradient ratios i hope now you can answer these stupid questions now there are certain other factors which affect the road alignment first one is obstruction along the way if we uh, if you see over here this is the straight path which should be adopted for the road alignment but here on the way there is a lake so you have to deviate the road from p to r r to s and then s to q okay uh, other factors may be uh, include some natural aspects uh, let's suppose to save the nature as this road is constructed in a desert and here you can see only uh, one there is only one tree on the ground and to save this tree we deviated the road or we provided the curb in a road to uh, avoid the cutting of this tree a road alignment can be changed due to the uh, presence of graveyards on the way as you can see over here one road is deviated toward here and the other side is deviated to make a curve over here to protect this graveyard or uh, in other words you have to give multiple uh, paths to the uh, churches mosque or mandar mandap etc to give it multiple uh, paths to reach the uh, this important building you have to deviate the road other reasons could be marsh land water logged area etc historical and archaeological important property restricted zones for defense national security costly structural elements requiring heavy compensation and densely populated areas a uh, third factor that is lengthy or costly straight route the alignment should not be monotony caused due to the lengthy straight routes hence alignment must have slight bend to break the monotony to keep the driver alert okay sometimes the road uh, straight roads uh, has in, in straight roads we have to make some uh, burp uh, you can say some jump or some speed breaker type thing to keep the drivers alert or deviate the road to a very smaller degree to keep the drivers alert third one is as for aesthetical reasons the alignment can be changed in order to pass the road through regions of natural beauty the length of the road increased for aesthetical reasons so that it passes through the regions of natural beauty and scenery so so can the tourist can enjoy the ride now fifth one is obligatory points the alignment should pass through the obligatory points such as intermediate important towns group of villages area of commercial political military and social importance sixth one is geological geological factors now this one is the most important factor the highway alignment should be made in such a way that no serious difficulties are met from geological factors geological factors of the locality such as stability of earthwork landslides etc that's all for today for more videos you are requested to please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get more videos